depressed Obama caught smoking weed as Trump destroys his legacy with brutal surprise. Barack Obama hasn't made an official public appearance in months, with insiders saying he is depressed and way behind on writing his memoirs. Reports say he was smoking weed like a fiend, and now, it got a lot worse with what just happened between Barack and President Donald Trump. Obama is devastated after he got a brutal surprise from Trump, and it will ruin his life, as it ruins his legacy forever. It's no wonder Barack Obama is reportedly holed up, depressed and smoking weed in his big D.C. mansion. President Donald Trump has been systematically destroying his legacy, rolling back his executive orders, and with the new tax cuts, he annihilated Obamacare. So, how does Barack write a memoir about all his presidential accomplishments when Trump is dismantling everything he did? If that wasn't bad enough, a shocking poll just came out that reflects the upcoming utter ruin of Obama's legacy. It's like the cherry on the top, and Trump tweeted about it, boasting, in new Quinnipiac poll, 66% of people feel the economy is excellent or good. That is the highest number ever recorded by this poll. But, there's more. All indications are that Trump has taken Obama's failed economy and fixed it in record time, and every political expert will tell you, a booming economy will ensure a president's second term. It means Obama will go down as an abject failure, and his memoir, which will come out during Trump's presidency, will be a big joke, if it comes out at all. This is how bad it is for Obama, Trump has even helped the African American community, something Obama our first African-American president, failed to do. Trump touted that accomplishment, tweeting, African-American unemployment is the lowest ever recorded in our country. The Hispanic unemployment rate dropped a full point in the last year and is close to the lowest in recorded history. Dems did nothing for you but get your vote. Front Page Magazine reports, even the left-wingers at NPR were forced to grudgingly admit Trump was right. NPR acknowledges that the unemployment rate for black Americans hit a record low in December, falling to 6.8 percent which is the lowest level since the federal government started keeping records on the matter in 1972. Hispanic unemployment fell a percentage point in the last year to 4.9 percent last month after dipping to 4.8 percent in November. The stock market keeps setting new records and the dramatic correction bearish forecasters keep warning us about never seems to come. So, what does Obama do? Well, for weeks, he has been out of the public eye, and the last time that happened, insiders reported he was depressed and smoking weed. Ed Klein, a noted insider with longtime connections with the Democratic elite, reported about Barack's nervous breakdown, in his book titled, All at War, The Plot to Destroy Trump. Klein wrote, Valerie, Jarrett, says Barack is listless. He mostly sits in his study in the Kalaarama house playing video games. He's behind writing on his memoirs. He isn't terribly enthused about the book right now, and he hasn't done a lick of work on it. He'll take phone calls from show business friends like Bruce Springsteen, Jay-Z, and Tom Hanks, but he refuses to talk politics. Adding that Obama gets his marijuana from Chicago friends who visit him in his mansion, Klein continues, I was told he keeps a small stash in his bedroom. The former president and first lady have separate bedrooms in their mansion in the Kalaarama section of Washington, D.C. He has rolling papers and knows how to roll a joint. Sometimes he'll smoke in his bedroom, and sometimes in the backyard. But mostly he does it when he's traveling. Klein goes on, at one point, he became concerned about people smelling pot around Kalaarama and asked friends to get him some edible stuff. They got him brownies, cookies, and gummy bears infused with THC, the chemical compound in cannabis. Michelle Obama is leading a totally separate life. She's out on the road, making speeches and raking in big bucks with each appearance, but Trump's booming economy will put a snag on what she can claim as successes about her time in the White House. The Obamas know their feeble attempt to transform America is now officially dead. Obamacare is gone, and The Economists are projecting 4% growth in 2018, something Hillary Clinton and Barry Obama said would never happen under Trump. While Hillary takes walks in the woods and poor Barack's depressed, smoking weed and playing video games, 
President Donald Trump is sitting behind the Resolute Desk, keeping his promises to the forgotten men and women across the country. Simply put, he's righting all of Obama's wrongs, while the media lies and punishes him for doing one thing they can't stand, making America great again. Again.